Hello everyone, and welcome to episode one of, well, you know, you read the title, so let's just jump right into it. Today we will be doing a Poe from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is a game I'm currently playing on my 3DS, of course. I don't have a Nintendo 64 that I can use at the present time, so anyway, you don't want to know about that, do you? You can see I've already set up a sketch so that you won't have to see me draw the whole thing and I won't have to retake this about a hundred and fifty times, something like that. So I will be going over all the steps of how do you how you would do this sketch though. First of all, let's go over the mask. This is one um Well, I don't know which Poe this actually is, but I do remember distinctly that one of them had just one curly thing on the top. And I know that the depth, depth, the depth perception is a little off, but um, I will be moving around the camera so you can see. As you can see, it looks a little more sad because, you know, it's a sad ghost. As you all know, this is a non-color drawing. I will have color ones, I assume. But for now, we're going to take importance on the shading. just regular nooks and crannies, you know, that sort of thing. They get darker, while points that stick out would be lighter. To do this, my pencil isn't really sharpened too much, because it's a ghost and you don't really have any hard lines on a ghost. What you can do is you can smudge it with your finger. It will get a good amount of lead on your finger. Well, not really lead. We all know it's graphite. Um, but you know what I mean. It's just a good idea if you want it to make it more smooth. Now, we're going to make it lit from this side here. So, we'll just make a circle there to indicate where the light is coming from. I know the lighting isn't as good as it possibly could be, but I'm working on it. Maybe I'll get a better studio sometime. So, yeah, just color it in, and we can move on to, we can come back to that, but what we want right now is to make the rest of the ghost. So, what you may want to do is make a smoother, uh, smoother line to outline the ghost, but then go over it with several, um, just scribbly lines makes it look more uh, frayed and patched if you know and, and yes we're doing more than the head it's just it's not in the shot right now I'm sorry about this, but I will be going on vacation for about two weeks' time, so I won't be able to upload then.
but I will make a point of uploading now just to hold you over and who knows maybe I'll be able to bring my camera and load you with footage when I come back don't worry about getting the eyes perfectly for now you can always do them later but I would recommend that you get the outline right Oh, I forgot you can't see there as you can see it's already starting to look kind of well creepy not really scary remember to just go around and make it a little bit like it's a black mask but even black things get a bit lighter when they're hit by light we know this and in case you just don't know I may make a tutorial video on the basic parts of drawing Okay, that's enough work on the mask for now. Okay, so the ends of the cloak that Poe's are covered in, you'll notice they're frayed and, you know, like ripped holes in jeans, such and such. Same thing as we were doing before, but a bit more exaggerated more frayed doesn't matter how messy you make it unless of course you go way overboard and ha uh, cover more than half of the thing something like that just want a patchy bit uh, yes I did make an outline of this too it's just you can't see it If there are any uh, kinks in this drawing, any mistakes in the actual canon pose, then uh, feel free to tell me in the comments because I'll be honest with you, I didn't study. I just kind of saw it in the graveyard looking for the sun song before I realized, of course, it was on the big grave in the back. Um, I just saw it enough times to figure out that I wanted to draw it and there I got the idea to do the show so I'm also thinking of that uh, you know the thing with the hands the boss in the well before the shadow temple of course if you don't play the game you have no idea what I'm talking about I know I'm taking a bit to zoom in, but you know what I'm doing. It's no big deal. Feel free to shade the mask however which way you want. Okay, so what you can do is just maybe add a few um, random lines in it to make it look more you know wrinkled and worn and feel free to just shade a bit at the top you know like I'm doing right now and at the bottom too
Now we're going to do the hand. This is the thing that you have to pay the most attention to detail. Don't make it frayed like the rest of the body that we did. Just make it rough-ish. Almost scaly. Really decayed. Like something that died in water. It's good if you make the fingers nice and long and spindly. And it doesn't really matter about the shading because the hand is black. And you don't have to make the left one either, just the right one. It's, um, it doesn't have to be perfectly, um, like a human hand. Just make sure it actually looks like a hand, unlike mine, <laughs> you know? Okay, so here is the lamp. It actually has to make this symmetrical, uh, to a certain extent, so this may be a harder part for you. Now I know that there is glass in this, but um, sometimes I just make the flame spewing out of the sides. Just looks, uh, makes it a bit more dramatic, I think. Of course, the lamp is um, dark too, the lamp frame. So just color it in whichever way you might. Doesn't really matter. In the game, it's the framing is black though, so you may want to keep that in mind. Make it at least slightly dark. Alright, so the flames. You want to make these spilling out. In the game they're not, but I just find it looks that much more dramatic. So if you want to go completely canon, make sure it's inside the lamp. And there's no smoke, because it's a ghost flame, I guess. Anyway, there's no smoke in coming off it in the game, so I just assume. It doesn't really matter how you make the flame. It helps to make the edges a bit more bold. I find. Anyways. But... In this picture, make sure that your pencil isn't sharpened too well. Because it can take away from the effect of the picture. You may want to make a little light around this. I know it's awful to see, so 
I'll try and get a better look at it. There. See? I know it looks, um, well, not very good, but still. I mean, this video is not to show you how to make a perfect Poe. It's just kind of to give you an idea. So, here you are. My awful lamp. I'm going to color it in a bit more so you can see. Framing. So, kind of like that, but minus the big smudge there. Um, so yeah, that's a Poe from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Goodbye.